Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is actually this one. This is the one I'm going to make, which is a huge box with a square bottom, a lovely smooth sides, and it pinches close. So it just opens and closes like that, snap shut. So this is super, super easy. And this is modelled on this one. Now, I had a team retreat back in June, and one of the things we do is we always bring swaps with us to share with other people. So you bring however many of the same project and you swap them away and you take home. So say you made 50, you bring 50 with you that are identical and you come home with 50 different ones. And this was from a lovely lady called Jane in my team, Jane Carroll, carolscreations.co.uk, two R's, two L's in Carol's. And this was her swap made with a six by six. And she's got, um, she's got a crease on um, all four of the points now mine is slightly different so I don't know if you can see can you see that one there she's got one there well it's all the way around the creases go up whereas on mine I've only got the crease on two of the sides and I've kept it smooth here so I'm going to show you how to make it and obviously it's a big version so right you need a piece of paper that's 12 by 12 30 by 30 centimeters and you start with what would be your bottom now this doesn't really have a bottom or a top because it's a bit kind of all over the place but I'm gonna I'm gonna say the majority of the pencils are going that way and make that so I want to score what will be the bottom first so um, keep that to the left hand side and score it at two and seven eighths of an inch which is seven centimeters and then you turn that so that score line is at the top and we're gonna do a full score all the way top to bottom at half an inch and six and a quarter inches so all the way top to bottom and in metric that's two and a half and sixteen and a half centimeters then we're just going to score to this score line that runs across there so and that's going to come at three and three eighths of an inch and at nine and one eighth of an inch which again in metric is nine and a half and twenty three and a half centimeters so if I fold this just gently, so that's the bottom, there's a score line there, there and there with full ones going all the way up. I'm just going to put them in gently. So those are my full score lines and then my part one is there and there. It will make sense when I cut. Okay, so let me come along and burnish these forms. How fun is that paper? It's too cute. And you don't need to worry about these part ones because actually we're going to cut those. They're more cut guys than they are actually score lines. Okay, so trim there and cut away the little skinny bit down here. So that's cut that bit away and then cut up the other four lines. Like I say, they're, they're more um, cut lines than score lines. Can you see that all four have been separated, but we've actually only got two sides to the box. You could, in theory, make a really big pouch like that. Ooh, maybe I'll make that for another project. Anyway, um, but I want to fold it round, so I'm going to fold it all the way round like this and close it up. And that's how I'm going to get my square base, but with my smooth parts there and there. So, first things first, get some adhesive down here. And that was a really wibbly line I did there. Did you see that? I went like that. <laughs> totally not intentional. Okay, so that is going to form kind of a side of the box more than the front. I don't even know where, there we go. So mine is at the side, which means I want to get these nice panels at the front down last. So take the right hand one 
and it's opposite. Just get those oh. Big box. So that's my the one to the right next to my seam, and the one opposite it is this one. So adhesive on there. And this is probably really close to the camera. Okay, again, keeping this as my front. And oh, it's wanting to ping open. Adhesive on there. Look at that, that one's not stuck on. Oops. Now it's stuck. <laughs> That's how you do it. And then the final one, I will get a longer ruler in a second and reinforce that stick. So there's my beautifully square base and you can see I've got this dome, smooth dome here and I've got these sharper sides here. And let's just reinforce that glue. Long ruler. And this is my front because I've got this nice finish here. And when you go like that, it just holds itself together. Do not ask me how, it's magic. It just does. Right, okay, let's finish this off. So, panel here, three and an eighth by three and an eighth, which is eight by eight centimeters. This one, two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths, which is seven and a half by seven and a half. Don't really know why I went for those particular sizes. They're a bit random. Normally I'm a bit easier than that. Okay, thankful thoughts. Love this stamp set big old block and I've got emerald envy going on there because that's this gorgeous green which I forgot to get out and somebody's lowered my chair just discovered that okay so I'm using my grid paper to line this up as best as I can and then I'm using my grid paper again to line everything up. I'm really hoping this is going to work. But oh, yeah, I've just realised my chair has been lowered enough that actually I can't see overhead in the same way I normally can. Small child alert. Summer holidays for you. Okay, and then what do I want on here? I want dimensional edges. Actually, I want these thingies. Um, I want these long strips on here. Because I've found that it, it tends to ping up a bit with ordinary dimensionals. So. These should help it stick around that little bit more. I'm not a big fan of making shaker cards, they're not really my kind of crafting, it's too fiddly for me. Um, and that's what the, these foamy strips are for. But they're really good for projects like this. Okay, so and that's going to go on the front there, and as you can see it does need to bend a little bit, hence why I use the strips. And then just to finish, how gorgeous is this ribbon? Love it. Oh, what is it called? Stripe Grow Grain. Just beautiful. So much fun. There's a lovely um, Pacific Point Blue one as well. Very nautical. Really dodgy wibbly bow. And... Really badly cut bow as well. That's okay. Uh, where are my mini glue dots? Oh, just dropping all my adhesives there. Mini glue dot onto the back of that. Up into the corner. And stuff that absolutely full of goodies. You've got a very happy recipient. It's just, look, look how huge it is. But how clever is that? That it just pinches closed. Um, love it, love it, love it. <laughs> me anyway thank you ever so much for joining me oh look less than 10 minutes 
Have a, have a great day and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye.